Creating a boundary is an important step in your field operations. Today we will talk about creating boundaries with your edge display. The first thing I'm going to do with my edge display is I'm going to go to the mapping screen by pushing this button here at the bottom of the screen. At this point I'll want to push my field options icon located in the lower left hand portion of the screen. From here I'll select the boundary tab and we will push start to begin making our boundary. There are two different types of boundaries we can make. An outer boundary, which defines the outer perimeter of our field, or an inner boundary, if I wanted to outline waterways or a building site. Another important option on this screen is our boundary offset. The GPS antenna is located in the center of our vehicle, and if we do not use an offset, the boundary will be logged directly under the GPS antenna. So in my case, I'm going to log it on the left-hand side of my implement, and I have a 30-foot implement, so I'm going to offset it by 15 feet, which would be half the width. That way it'll log on the outer edge of the left-hand side of my implement. We'll push the green checkbox to continue, and at this point I'm ready to start driving my boundary. If I push my mapping icon again, I will zoom to detail on the map, and you can see that we are logging on the left edge of our implement. Now if I were to encounter an obstacle in the field, or if I wanted to back into a corner to make it square, I can push the map icon button, go to the boundary tab, and I can pause. We'll show you here that the boundary is paused. Whenever I need to resume again, we'll push the map options button, the boundary tab, and hit resume, and it will snap a straight line from where I push pause to where I push resume. As you can see, it's drawn a straight line through there. Once I'm finished driving my boundary, I'm going to want to hit my Map Options button again, select the Boundary tab, and I'm going to press Stop. And now I've got three different options. I can save the boundary. If I've accidentally pushed Stop, I can push Resume and continue driving, or I can discard the boundary and start over. I'm going to push Save, and now the edge will show me an approximate area of the boundary I've just created. So we'll OK that. And now if I wanted to outline a waterway in there, I can push Start. Notice the option for an inner boundary is now available. I'm going to select inner, and in this example, I'm going to map a waterway, and I need to put my offset back in. So we're going to offset to the left and 15 feet again. We'll accept these settings, and now we're ready to run an interior boundary. We'll zoom to detail, and you can see we're logging an inner boundary. Once I've completed mapping out my boundary, we'll push the Map Options button again, select the Boundary tab, and push the Stop button, and we can save this boundary as well. And it'll give me a revised area of my field boundary now, subtracting that waterway out. We'll accept that. If I push the Options button, I have the ability to export this boundary, and I can now bring it into my SMS desktop software. Um, if I started the field without the boundary, I could import one from the software if I needed to. And if I decide I don't like that waterway later, I can select it and push the red minus symbol and remove it. For more information on creating boundaries with your Edge display, please refer to your Edge user manual.